Hey guys, AC Glenn here with Team Fataba USA. Today we're gonna to be talking about the Fataba MC9100A speed controller. The speed controller's been out for a while. Um, I know a lot of people in the US used to use the OS variant of the speed controller um, that was readily available from Tower Hobbies, but now Fataba USA actually has the MC9100A actually in stock. So today we're gonna to talk about programming it um, for F3A, for pretty much your standard F3A motor, which is gonna be a Plettenberg Advanced 30-10. In order to program it, you're gonna need the MCP1 programmer as well. Um, this is also available from Futaba. Um, so we're gonna talk about programming it for the Plettenberg 30-10, and then we're also gonna have a little excerpt from Jason Shulman on how to program it for the Brenner Contra V4. So programming the MC9100A, it isn't as terrible as most seem to think it is. Um, there, there is quite a few settings, but hopefully we can make it easier for you today with programming the Plettenberg um, Advanced 30-10. So we're gonna need our MCP1. Um, this is gonna be the programmer for the Fataba controller. If you do have an OS version of this or the OS controller, they're, they're all compatible with one another. Um, so first, let me point out that there's two, two lines here that comes off the um, speed controller. One is going to go into your receiver, and the other one is marked to programmer. As you can kind of see, and I'm sure you can't really see it that well, but one is marked to programmer. That's the one that we're actually going to plug into the programmer here. And then in order to get the speed controller and the control or the programmer talking, we're going to need to plug power up to it. So I got my standard 10S set up right here. So it is plugged in. Um, so the first thing we're gonna do, we're gonna see is select battery. Obviously we're flying um, pattern airplanes, so typically LiPos. Um, so it is already, I have mine already set to LiPo. I believe it comes stock at LiPo. So we're gonna hit the down arrow and then we're gonna see cutoff voltage. I had that set at auto. Um, I know some people try to set the per cell, what it, what it should be for the cutoff. I just have it set at auto. Um, it just seems to detect it and make it easier for everybody. Next, we have cutoff type. So we're gonna do a soft cutoff so that when it, if the battery, if your battery does get low, pretty low, um, instead of doing a hard cutoff where the motor just stops, it's actually gonna slowly start to gradually lose power towards the end of the battery. So soft cutoff is what, or soft off is what we want on that menu. Next, we're gonna have motor direction. Depending on how you set up your, your speed controller, whether you um, want to reverse the motor, um, by using the three wires that come out to go to the motor from the speed controller. You can set it here or you can just leave it at normal um, and just change the, the reverse two plugs if the motor's spinning backwards or you can go in here and hit reverse instead of changing the, the two plugs. Either one works well. Next, we're gonna, it's gonna be advanced timing. So for the Plattenberg Advance, it's gonna be 24 degrees. Um, for some other motors, you just need to check with the manufacturer to see which, um, how many degrees it's gonna be for your timing there. So 24 degrees for the uh, Plettenberg Advance. Then we're gonna go down to acceleration. It's come stock at normal. That's what we're gonna leave it at. It's just the time that it takes to go from zero to 100%. Just leave it at normal, it seems to work best. Next is gonna be start power. So that's how much power is gonna come into the speed controller to the motor from zero to its first burst. So again, we can leave that at normal, shouldn't make a big difference on anything. Um, if that's something you wanna play with, I would caution people with playing with it, um, especially with the timing on a motor, you don't wanna get anything desynced if you're advancing it way too fast. Um, so I would just leave it at, at normal. Next, we're gonna do air brake type. So I have my air brake set a little high for the, for the braking for the motor. It's actually set at 90% for me. I like to use a lot of brake, it seems to work great. Um, I know that some people like using smaller numbers. I know my buddy Gary Courtney with his Proteus, he only uses, I think, maybe about 30%. Um, so it's all up into the feel um, of what you want. Um, and I think that, that that number can vary all the way through the whole range, zero to 100, or if you, if you, if you even use um, braking at all. Next is gonna be air brake on or off. 
you want it on if you're gonna use the braking with the speed controller, you want it off if you're not gonna be using that braking. Next, we have motor pole number. So that's gonna be 20 poles for the Pledenburg Advance, um, depending on, again, your other, other motor manufacturers may have a different pole count. So if you use something else besides the Pledenburg Advance, then I would check with to see how many poles your motor has in it. Gear ratio, we're gonna do one to one. So it's gonna be one dash one dash one, basically. So that's perfect. It comes stock set that way, so you really shouldn't have to mess with that. And that really is the end of the programming. Um, the next few tabs are gonna be your maximum RPM in a flight, and then your average RPM um, during that flight. And then you're, you're gonna get to a tab that says download, and it's gonna say really question mark. You're gonna wanna hit the positive button. It's gonna beep like that, and it's gonna say processing on the screen. Once it's done, then you're good to go. Hey guys, so now we're gonna kick it over to Jason Schulman and let him explain to you how he programs his MC9100A for the Brenner Contra V4 unit. Thank you, AC, for the opportunity to let me share my setup with the Futaba MC9100A ESC on my Contra drive. Here I have the Brenner Contra drive with the Contronics motor, my Thunder Power 10S6000 battery, the Futaba MC9100A ESC and the MCP-1 ESC programmer. What I'm going to do now is connect the MCP-1 programmer to the yellow plug on the ESC and that is going to allow us to transfer the data that I choose for my ESC. Then I'm going to hook up the power to the ESC and this will activate the MCP-1 programmer. As you can see, the first selection is going to be for the battery type, and I have the LiPo battery. Next is gonna be the cutoff voltage. It is set to auto, and I am going to change that to the absolute minimum of 4.5 volts. Personal preference there. Next is gonna be the cutoff type. I like the soft cutoff. After that, we have motor, motor direction. I'm just going to leave that at normal. Advanced timing for outrunners, I'd like to use 24 degrees of timing. Acceleration throughout the throttle stick, I like it as normal. Start power, because it is contra and going through a gear drive, I'd like to set this at lowest. The air brake type with a Contra does not need to be set very high, so I've got this set up at 25%. And of course the air brake is on. Motor pull with the Contronics for the Brenner Contra is a 10 pull motor. Gear ratio is roughly 6.7 to 1, and this is really just for the RPM readings that you can get with the ESC if you choose to check it. And there's the way you, you could check your maximum RPM there, average RPM, and then once I have all those settings selected, the, first, the thing you need to do is to download it. So you hit the plus sign, and now everything is saved. So now I'll reverse the process and disconnect the power and disconnect the programmer from the ESC. And those are my settings for the Brenner Contra with the Futaba MC9100A. So guys, in conclusion, um, I think the Futaba speed controllers are great, a great option for F3A, um, especially for you guys that are looking for not, not necessarily a cheap alternative, but a lower cost alternative to say the Jetty or um, any other speed controller like that. Um, so the MC9100 retails on Futaba USA for 220, um, is 219.99. Um, and that comes, it also already comes pre-soldered with four millimeter bullets on it. So that's kind of a nice touch. Um, as well. So, and also the MCP-1 is right at $35. It's $34.99. Um, so a pretty good combo for, you know, under $300 with the programmer and the speed controller. Um, nothing wrong with that there. And Fataba actually has these in stock right now. So if you guys are looking for a new ESC for next season, make sure you check out FatabaUSA.com.
Catch you at the field.